leadership that Tanzania has made great progress over the last few years scaling up targeted testing strategies to ensure that people who are living with AIDS know their status and are linked to care and treatment. The current administration in Tanzania has successfully built on the foundation built by the late President Benjamin Mkapa. As many of you may remember, President Mkapa declared HIV a national disaster in 1999 and spearheaded the country's response at that time. He established the Tanzania Commission for AIDS. He was truly an ally for people living with HIV. Today, as part of World AIDS Day, we would be remiss not to acknowledge his legacy. Although Tanzania has made significant progress towards achieving epidemic control, new infections continue to incur, occur. I encourage Tanzania to renew its focus on primary prevention, especially for adolescent girls and young women. Women and girls still bear the brunt of the HIV epidemic in Tanzania. According to UNAIDS in 2019, of the 77,000 new cases of HIV in Tanzania, 60% of these are among girls and women. Furthermore, ending mother to transmission uh, is within our reach. We must redouble our efforts to reach women during the antenatal care and ensure that mothers and babies are followed continuously to ensure if infants are born HIV free. And condoms, a cornerstone of HIV prevention, should be easily accessible to all Tanzanians. Finally, Gender equalities and gender-based violence should be addressed through a multi-sectoral and comprehensive approach. Achieving epidemic control would be a remarkable accomplishment. Billions of lives would be saved. However, there is still progress to be made to reach the 95 and 95 targets. Again, we have the tools at our disposal to make this a reality. We must ensure that we are offering the best possible antiretroviral regimes to the clients and quickly transition away from suboptimal regimes. We must scale up six-month dispensing, which has been shown to improve adherence and ultimately viral load suppression nationwide. We must continue to offer TB preventive therapy to reduce mortality among people living with HIV. I also want to remind us of an unfortunate reality that living with HIV and people living with HIV still experience stigma and discrimination. Over a quarter of adult respondents to the Tanzanian HIV Impact Survey from 2017 expressed discriminatory attitudes toward people living with HIV. Regrettably, this proportion has not changed much since the early 2000s. Stigma and discrimination pose key barriers for people living with HIV and for key populations to access services. We must continue to work together to ensure that all people, especially the most marginalized groups, can access high quality HIV prevention, testing, and treatment services without fear. To sustain all the gains Tanzania has made, and to achieve our shared goal to end AIDS by 2030, we need resources. The United States Pet Bar Program, the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, Tuberculosis, and Malaria, and the UN Family provide significant financial and technical support to Tanzania's HIV response. Let me take a moment to acknowledge that Pet Bar will be providing nearly 500 million US dollars during the current physical year alone. With long-standing bipartisan support, the United States government has invested more than $5.4 billion in Tanzania HIV and AIDS response. And I'd also like to congratulate Tanzania on its successful Global Fund application for 2021 to 2023. This will bring an additional $608 million to Tanzania to fight AIDS, tuberculosis, malaria, 
and to strengthen the health systems. Donor funding for AIDS response will not be available forever, especially as other emerging and global priorities take center stage. Therefore, on behalf of the U.S. government and the DPG AIDS, I pledge to support the government of Tanzania to develop durable plans to increase domestic resources uh, mobilized for HIV AIDS. The annual AIDS Trust Fund Walk, which took place just this week, is just one component of a sustainable AIDS response, an event that was organized and directed by Tanzania itself. This year's global theme for World AIDS Day is Global Solidarity, Shared Responsibility. This theme underscores the need for countries to act in solidarity to shoulder the collective burden of the HIV response. This year, the world has faced a second pandemic that has threatened health systems around the globe. COVID-19 has demonstrated that we were, are indeed all part of one global interconnected community. Unfortunately, the dual pandemics of COVID-19 and HIV has impacted all our supporting countries. I'd like to further command uh, Tanzania for the National AIDS Control Program's quick response to minimize the impact on people living with HIV by expanding community antiretroviral distribution and multi-month dispensing. The theme of global uh, solidarity, shared responsibility, reflects the commitment of the United States government and all development partners to ending the HIV AIDS epidemic globally. It highlights ongoing efforts to ensure achieve inclusive, resilient, and sustainable control of the HIV AIDS epidemic. As part of our commitment to global solidarity and shared responsibilities as development partners, we further pledge to do our part to support the government of Tanzania in reaching its strategic objectives. These objectives, as set out in the National Multi-Sectoral Framework for HIV and AIDS and the Health Sector HIV Strategic Plan, outline a clear path to the 95-95-95 targets. This plan planning includes delivering quality, people-centered HIV prevention, and treatment services. It also includes a focus on strengthening the capacity and resilience of communities and health systems to address the HIV epidemic and other public health challenges. It underscores the importance of partnership to ensure impact, to share the burden of our collective efforts, and accelerating national ownership of the HIV AIDS response. As the American ambassador to Tanzania, I would also like to reiterate my commitment to the United States' important bilateral relationship with Tanzania. Together, in solidarity and shared responsibility, we will continue to make progress to improve the health of the Tanzanian people. Our strong partnership has set us up for the right course to end HIV AIDS by 2030 and to ensure AIDS free communities for the generations to come. I can see that all of us gathered here today are committed to act in solidarity. We all share the responsibility for working together to support the people of Tanzania. Asante Sana. Asante Komakofi Abalozi. I believe you will be departing shortly, maybe a handshake with Honorable Guest of Honor, or maybe just 